<laughs> yeah. I mean, it, 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 there's a lot of people that impose themselves on mm-hmm. songs. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it, 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 so much of it is just listening and, and finding, you know, what the song wants from you not what you want to put in the song as much. And, and if a song requires like, you know, like if it's suddenly like a tower of power thing, like a Rocco part, if yeah. you've got the chops to do it, it's great, man. I love doing something like that. But if it's suddenly like a Reba McIntyre song, that's a, a, a lamenting ballad, that's mostly whole notes and half notes. I'm good with that too. Cause that's what the song wants. It's not, you know, I'm not going to leave that day going, you know, now they don't think much of me because I didn't show off my chops. Mm-hmm. I remember Hal Blaine told me a story. I tell it a lot, but he went down to San Diego to do a gig and there was a young bass player on the gig and the guy just whipped out everything he had, man. He was like roaring. And when it was all through, he kind of came all puffed up to Hal and said, so man, what do you think? And Hal looked at him and said, I think we need a bass player. <laughs> you know, like, Bam, you know, <laughs> flaccid immediately. But, you know, I mean, but there is that element when you're young, you're really trying to, you know, whip it all out and show everybody what you got. But as time goes on, you realize, you know, it's really the song that I'm here for. It's not for me. It's not for anything else. It's really for that song. And and so much of that does come with, you know, experience. And, uh, and, and also just having, I was fortunate that the household I grew up in my folks, even though it wasn't a musician's household, it was a musical household. So my parents were incredibly eclectic in, in, in their record collections and stuff. So I was listening to classical and, and Martin Denny and, you know, I mean, all kinds of, you know, different varieties of music. So when I kind of started in this, I, I had an appreciation for everything. I wasn't like, I get guys that write to me all the time that say, man, well, I'm like a, I'm a metal guy. And all that. And I go, well, that's, but the thing that I love is when somebody says, like, I'm a metal guy, but I had no idea about Neil Sadaka, you know, wow. and they're discovering things. And, and even if they're, it's not going to change what they play, it's changing their ear and they might bring something different to their metal by just listening to another kind of music. 